Welcome to today's math lesson on direct variation. Our do now reads the graph shows a bicycle rider. She moves at a constant speed. Find the slope of the line. What does this tell you about the speed? So I'm going to use a student assignment to show two ways that you could have solved this problem. So one way was using the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. divided by x2 minus x1. And so the two points that the student chose was 4 comma 80 and then 8 comma 160. And so 4 was x1, 80 was y1, 8 was x2, 160 was y2, and then the student just plugged in the number, so y2 was 160 minus y1, which was the 80, and that gave us 80, and then x2 was the 8 minus x1, which was the 4, 8 minus 4 is 4, and lastly, 80 divided by 4 is 20. That was one way to solve this problem. The second way to solve this problem was seeing that this is a proportional relationship. So we know that k is equal to y over x. In this case, we have the slope is equal to the distance divided by the time. And so the student chose one point. She chose this point right here, 1 comma 20. And so she knew that 1 was her x-coordinate, 20 was her y-coordinate, and she divided 20 divided by 1, and that gave her 20. So there was two ways to solve this do now problem, and both ways resulted in the same answer of 20 kilometers per hour. Today's TIC is 8.5e. Our lesson target is that scholars will solve problems involving direct variation, and our DOL is given four problems. Scholars will solve problems involving direct variation with 100% accuracy. So real quickly, some academic vocabulary to go over. Constant of proportionality and constant of variation are referring to the same thing. So when we have k is equal to y over x, sometimes we might call it constant of proportionality. Other times we might call it constant of variation. But it's this k value, which is the unit rate, the rate of change. Direct variation and proportional relationship are also interchangeable. So that sometimes we might call it direct variation. Other times we might say that it's a proportional relationship. So for example, this line right here is a proportional relationship. Y is equal to K times X would be the equation that we'd use. But we can also say that it has a direct variation between Y and X. So real quickly, a direct variation is a relationship that be, can be written as y is equal to k times x, where k is a non-zero constant called the constant of variation. The value of k is the same as the constant of proportionality in the equation k is equal to y over x. If there is a direct variation between x and y, y varies directly with x. And so that second part, y varying directly with x, is very important because whatever comes first is on top and is being divided by whatever comes second. This first I do says the value of y is directly proportional to the value of x. If y is equal to 12 when x is equal to 15, what is the value of y when x is equal to 40? So our first step is to find the constant of variation, which is k is equal to y over x. Our y is 12. Our x is 15. We can either choose to simplify this fraction or we can just divide 12 divided by 15. So the first thing I'm going to do is simplify this fraction. I'm going to list out the factors of 12 and 15. I know that 3 times 4 makes 12 and 3 times 5 makes 15. I'm going to cross out the common factor, so the number that they have in common, which is 3. So I'm left with 4 fifths. If I wanted to divide 4 divided by 5, I would get 0 0.8. So our constant of variation is either 4 fifths or 0 0.8. Then we have to substitute the values into the equation y is equal to k times x. So we're just writing our constant of variation into the equation. So we have y is equal to 4 fifths x 
or we have y is equal to 0.8x. Next, we have when x is equal to 40, the value of y is, so what we're gonna do is plug in this x value into the equation that we just wrote. So we have y is equal to 4 fifths times x, in this case our x is 40, or we could multiply y is equal to 0 0.8 times 40, and our answer will be 32. This next I do says the value of y varies directly with x. If x is equal to 8 when y is equal to 32, what is the value of x when y is equal to 112? So our first step is to find our k, which is our constant of variation. So we have k is equal to y over x. In this case, our y was 32, our x was 8, 32 divided by 8 is 4. So our constant of variation is 4. Now we're going to substitute the value into the equation y is equal to k times x. So now we have y is equal to 4x. Then we, it says when y is equal to 112, the value of x is. So in this case, we're plugging in 112 for y. So our equation is going to be 112 is equal to 4 times x. And now we have to solve for x. So right here, we see that we're multiplying 4 times x. To move the 4 to the other side, to just isolate the x, to get the x alone, we're going to have to do the opposite operation. So the opposite of multiplying by 4 is dividing both sides by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so we have x is equal to 28. So our last I do reads, the distance in centimeters between two towns on a map, Y, varies directly with the actual distance in kilometers between the towns X. So again, anything that comes first, even if it's a different letter, will be our numerator. And then anything that comes second will be our denominator in terms of finding our constant of variation. So we have K is equal to Y over X. Y in this case being the distance in centimeters of a town on a map, and X being the distance, the actual distance in kilometers. If the actual distance between the towns is 175 kilometers, the distance on the map is 35 centimeters. If the actual distance between two towns is 120 kilometers, what is the distance on the map? So from here, I'm going to label what my X and Ys are. So I have the numbers 175 kilometers. I know that the distance in kilometers is our X, whereas the distance in centimeters is our Y. And then it says 120 kilometers, so I know that that's our X. So I'm going to find our constant of variation by plugging in the 35 as our Y, so that's our numerator, and then the 175 as our X which is gonna be our denominator. And we can either simplify this fraction or we can divide to find it in decimal form. If we simplified it as a fraction, it would be 1 fifth. If we did one divided by five, it would be 0 0.2. So our constant of variation is either 1 fifth or 0 0.2. Now we're going to plug in this constant of variation into an equation, so we have y is equal to 1 fifth times x, or y is equal to 0 0.2 times x. And our last thing is, we know that the 120 kilometers is our x, so we're gonna plug that into our equation. So we have y is equal to 1 fifth times 120, or we could have done y is equal to 
0 0.25 times 120. And both answers will be 24. In this case, since we're finding the distance on the map, our unit is going to be centimeters. So an important thing to remember is that whatever comes first is going to be our Y and whatever comes second is going to be our X. So for this word problem, when it says the weight of an object on Earth varies directly as the weight of the same object on the moon. In this case, the weight of the object on Earth is going to be our Y and the weight of the same object on the moon is going to be our X. So when it says a 600 pound object would weigh 96 pounds on the moon, how much would a 130 pound object weigh on the moon? We know that a 600 pound object is going to be our Y since it's the weight on earth, whereas the 96 pounds on the moon is our X. And then if it's asking how much would a 130 pound object weigh on the moon, that means 130 pounds is our Y and we're looking for our X. Now you'll have four questions to answer in Google Forms for your demonstration of learning. Thank you so much for following along in today's math lesson and see you in my next math video. Bye.